minutes to uh, my distinguished and uh, uh, colleague from Kansas, Mr. Hulskamp. The gentleman from Kansas is recognized for three minutes. Thank you, Madam Chairman. I appreciate the efforts of my colleague from Indiana bringing this uh, before the House for discussion. But the reality is the staggering fact is that since the President's re-election through to the next debt limit vote, Washington will have added about $1 trillion to our national debt in exchange for what? For no spending reductions, in exchange for maintaining the status quo. This is not, as Democrats would argue, about paying our bills. It is about mortgaging our nation's future. Not only must we vote yes on this resolution to disapprove of this culture of debt, but it's also time to bring long overdue transparency to the process. As we approach the so-called default deadline, the White House Press Secretary told reporters that Secretary Liu did not say we would default at midnight on October 17th, only that we were likely to exhaust our borrowing authority that day. The press corps, as you might recall, responded in disbelief that their doomsday default clocks may actually be wrong. But let's be clear. We were not going to default. Why do I say that? Ask the vice president who disappeared for a couple weeks. It was the vice president who went to China in August of 2011 and told the Chinese we would never default. Moody said we were not going to default. The markets showed little volatility. They knew we would not default. Default was just a scare tactic to scare the American people. And we as elected representatives had no access to the actual data to determine how much borrowing authority the secretary, the administration had left. We were simply left to take Jack Lew's word for it. In the future, I believe we must require a fuller accounting of how extraordinary measures are used, reported, and are remaining with, by any administration. In the words of Ronald Reagan, we should trust, but verify. And Ms. Madam Chairman, earlier this year, the President sent us a budget that never balances. Never balances. In fact, he has done that now for five straight years. That means under his plan, time and time and time and time and time again, we would only add to our national debt and never pay it off. A vote today to disapprove this debt limit increase may have little impact on the previous $17 trillion in debt or the next $600 billion in debt that we approved uh, as a body a few weeks ago. But it does say three things. It is time to end our culture of debt. It is time to end the Washington status quo. It is time to end the crisis of out-of-control spending.